I'm not going to be threatened by some adolescent punk with a smoldering grudge. What's in the basket? Hey, author and horror news contributor William Burke back with another cult horror double bill. Both of these films had such low budgets that they were shot in 16 millimeter as opposed to 35. First up is a twisted tale of brotherly love that ran as a midnight show in New York for two years straight. It's 1982's Basket Case. Conjoined twins travel to New York, taking murderous revenge on the doctors who separated them. Shot for only $35,000, Basket Case is a shining example of what can be accomplished with no money but a lot of love. Frank Henenlotter's directorial debut is remarkably self-assured. He wisely makes the murderous Belial sympathetic, particularly during the film's flashbacks. Doctor, I'm not even sure it's you. He also added plenty of offbeat humor. Sculptor Kevin Van Hedernick is terrific as Dwayne, and Beverly Bonner adds some warmth as the hotel's resident hooker, Casey. What's in the basket? But Belial is the real star. Future Oscar winner John Caglione created the monster through puppetry, along with some stop-motion shots lovingly animated by the director himself. Basket Case gained a large cult following on the midnight show circuit and home video. The Museum of Modern Art supervised the film's gorgeous 2017 restoration. And there's the added bonus of seeing Times Square in all its pre-Disney seediness. I've got some good cocaine, Quaalude, beautiful. Basket Case spawned two well-received sequels while paving the way for Hen and Lauder's equally deranged comedy, Frankenhooker. Want a date? Going out? And we're definitely covering that movie. To quote the Detroit Free Press, Basket Case is like E.T. made by a psychopath. And that's exactly why you should see it. And for more horror thrills, check out my novels, Dominant Species, Primeval Waters, and Scorpius Rex. And follow me at WilliamBurkeAuthor.com. What's in the basket? Easter eggs? <laughs>second feature, Nazi zombies rise from the depths to menace Florida. It's 1977's Shockwave. Despite a shoestring budget, 1977's Shockwave delivers the goods. Horror legend Peter Cushing gives a great performance as the Nazi commander. The abandoned Biltmore Hotel in Coral Gables lent Shockwaves a decaying tropical atmosphere, and the film's Nazi zombies have become iconic. Plus, we get horror veteran John Carradine as the crusty boat captain, and a then-unknown Brooke Adams. Shockwaves proves that in the right hands, creativity can trump money, so give it a watch. More great films are coming, so like and subscribe so you don't miss them. Hey, thanks for watching, and buy these books!